I could go back in time and see what I'm doing now, I think I would be like, yeah, that's my job. That's my dream job. So at a young age, I don't think I would ever have expected to become a scientist, to be living outside Brazil. I have two parents who are engineers and their idea of fun is building things and exploring that way. Well, I've always wanted to be able to blend the arts and the sciences. I was always interested in a career that might help me make a difference in both health and education and social systems. I joined the laboratory of Christoph Christoffen. He was one of the pioneers in stem cell biology and intestine and I really understood what it meant to do research. My interest in science just stems from understanding how things work and my interest in engineering is being able to apply that knowledge to real life situations. I started volunteering in a lab that was working on developing tools to help kids with hearing loss. And I was doing that because I wanted to be a practicing clinician yet it gave me a taste of what research could do. And so that was probably when my curiosity was initially peaked. I came across a lot of uh, fantastic scientists and many of them were women. And I realized what it meant to be you know, an independent woman in this career and all the potential that could come with it. So as a woman in science, of course, there were many obstacles that I felt you know, some other people <laughs> didn't have that right? Um, going to conferences, seeing all male panels, discussions. So yes, of course, I faced um, my share of uh, discouragement in research. But what really kept me going was the science itself, right? Like the passion to run the experiment and then seeing the different results come together to tell a story about something you didn't know before. It's important to have a good group of people that you can discuss your data with and understand that every failure is not a failure, right? You're understanding the system, opening up new questions that will take you through the next breakthrough. Hardly ever anyone's career in science is linear. There's all sorts of ups and downs, and you have to know your strengths and your weaknesses, and you have to play to those. Science and math is just applying your everyday skills to discover new things and it's not as far-fetched or as difficult as one might expect and just to give it a try. Science might be more than you think it is. It's not just test tubes in lab. There's all kinds of different sciences as long as you're curious and driven to keep answering questions then I think science could be the career for you.